from Folsom. Today's the Manly Minute. Keeping guys involved in Mother's Day. Oh, no, you've got work to do, Dad. You've got some work to do. And luckily, I'm going to be helped up by our good friends here. We're hanging out studs by studs. And, of course, uh, stud Tyler, stud Preston, going to help us out with five tips for dads to kind of make sure you don't mess up Mother's Day. It's kind of important if you make sure you handle this right here. All right, we're going to start with the first one. And, uh, stud Tyler, you get to start. All right, circle that date. Circle the date. Okay, this works for a couple of reasons. First off, if you circle the date on the calendar, it's going to remind you not to forget from about Mother's Day. Right. But it's also going to show mommy that you know her big day's coming up. You put that big circle, I always put a big heart around it on the calendar. She walks by every morning, sees it on the calendar, and she knows that you didn't forget about her. You got something big coming up for you, mama, so don't you worry about it. All right, Stud Preston, number two. Take her to brunch, no kids. Take mama to brunch, no kids. Kids, no kids. Think oh, about this. Okay. You know she loves the kids. Uh -huh. She would do anything for the kids. But give her one day where she doesn't have to worry about the kids. She can enjoy herself. Let her go to brunch, maybe with you or with some girlfriends, and she can have mimosas and just be the woman that she's always been and not have to be mommy all day long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Tyler, number three. Take her shopping for her. That's right. Take her shopping, but don't make her buy anything for the kids or anyone else. It's all about her. Take her shopping or... Just give her the means to have the freedom to be gone and go shopping for herself and not have to worry about anything to do with the kids or the house or you. Once again, it's all about her on this day. All right, we're back to you. Stud Preston. Schedule a spa day solo. Actually, that was supposed to be yours, Tyler. I'm sorry. Mm. Schedule a spa day solo. <laughs> See, they both just did it together. <laughs> Schedule a spa day so she can go by herself. So obviously, a spa day for mom would be the greatest thing. She can relax and get pampered. Now, sometimes that could be a little expensive, so, gentlemen, hmm, what could they do if they didn't have the money to go for a spa treatment? Come have a complimentary one by the studs. We'll show you everything you need as well as help you make custom skincare goods for yeah. it. Custom. I did not think of that. Why, it's so convenient to have you two here next to me for this segment. That worked out beautifully. And the number five tip that you really want to try to adhere to when it's getting set for Mother's Day, Dads, listen up. Be a good example. Mm. Oh. Be a good example. What does that mean? I have a five and a, I have a five and a half year old son. And my job is to show him every single day not only how to treat and love his mother, but how to treat, love, and respect other women. Mm -hmm. and that's extremely important. So, Dad, be a good example for the, kid, the kids in your house, whether they are daughters or sons, to show them, hey, mommy's important. Yes, this day is an important day, but mommy's always important, and the women in your life are always important. Be a good example as a dad and show them that as often as you can. I can't quite do it every day. Sometimes I'm not on top of my game. But on Mother's Day, I will be. These are just five good tips to make sure that you dads out there don't mess up this important day. To find out so much more, go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date and man up for getting Mother's Day right. You know well what you can also do? What? Because we're talking sports. Oh. Later on today, from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock on sports, uh, 1140 KHTK. Today, we're talking about the Kings still looking for a coach for their basketball team. Everything happening with the NBA playoffs, the NFL draft, the aftermath of that. And you know what? I'm going to try to see if I can get the guys on.